Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy here at First Son of God. Just this next week, I'll be talking about rekindling your passion, rekindling your passion for the Lord. So, as you watch these devotionals, I hope that that stirring up. I remember as a youth pastor, one of the biggest things was you'd go to a great youth convention, a great convention, and all of a sudden you, you get the the spiritual high, and you're like, "Oh, I'm going to go for God. I'm going to go for God." But something happens, and it almost like you take a nosedive. It's like that roller coaster, and that was a that was a mystery because I never knew what was the thing that uh, kept the momentum going after uh, uh, like a youth convention or, or camp. But can I just tell you that if you desire a deep walk with the Lord and you desire to keep going forward for the Lord, He will give you the desires of your heart. You just have to be passionate about the things of God. So this. This week I'm going to talk about rekindling the passion, and this may even go into next week. But I just want to pour into your life, and I just want to challenge you uh, to rekindling your passion. Revelation 2.4 says this, Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. If you remember when you first got saved, that moment when you got saved, and you it was almost as though you were able to conquer the world. You were able to, to, to do all things for Christ. It was like, you, you had those spiritual goosebumps and you were ready to take on the world, win the world for the Lord. And all of a sudden something happened. And, and in Revelations he was saying, hey, this one thing I hold against you, that you have forsaken your first love. Check this out. And, and so the Lord speaking to the, these churches uh, in, in Revelation, the seven churches, you forgot this one thing, your important thing, your first love for me. Revelation 3.15 says, I know your works, that you are neither hot or cold, Cold or hot, I wish you were either cold or hot. So then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I spew you out of my mouth. See, that that's that lukewarm life that says, man, I, you know, I know the Lord will forgive me. I, and that's true, he will forgive you. I know the Lord will forgive me, so I, I shouldn't have to worry about it. I'll just ask forgiveness. Well, somewhere, somewhere in the midst of that, you become lukewarm. Let me, let me get, as we discuss these two, two scriptures, as we continue uh bring this 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 devotionals together I want to ask you a couple questions this morning how do you see your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ in light of these two scriptures that I just read Revelation 2 4 and Revelation 3 15 and 16 what is it in a person's life that causes them to lose their first love or become lukewarm after being filled with the zeal and the passion for the Lord and his kingdom Email me these answers if you have the epiphany of, uh, of the answer for these questions. What, it, what was it that causes a person who once burned with fervent intensity that produces a hot fire within their souls and spirit and ignite others with the same level of fervency to go out? See, both of these scriptures, Revelations in Revelation 2 and Revelation 3, are indicate indicative of a person who has lost their passion for the gospel and kingdom of Christ. So in this next week, I, I want to talk to you about how to rediscover that, how to get back to, to those ground uh, roots of this. And so basically, let me define what passion is, and then tomorrow we'll talk about why people lose their passion. Passion is defined as this, the energy of the soul, intense, emotional, compelling action, a strong devotion to some object activity or concept sharing meaning passion fervor enthusiasm and zeal so when you think about that that one definition enthusiasm and what what we need to have in our life is enthusiasm we need to have a passion for the things of God well, let me pray for you Lord I thank you so much and I do pray that Lord that you bless everyone as they watch. I pray that, Lord, this encourage their heart, that, Lord, they'll grow in you. And I pray that you bless them, Lord God, and I pray that you give them an opportunity to share the gospel with somebody this week, Lord, in your name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.